Comey. Let's discuss with Ken Starr. He served as independent counsel on the Clinton Lewinsky investigation. Mr. Starr, good morning. Hey, good morning, Allison. So you've heard the Washington Post reporting that now uh, it seems to Bob Mueller's investigation seems to have widened, not just Russia meddling, not just possible collusion, but whether or not the president engaged in some sort of obstruction of justice involving pressing James Comey to back off Michael Flynn, etc. Do you think there's a case there? It's too soon to tell. Uh, from what I have seen, and of course we don't know a whole lot, uh, the answer is no. Uh, but it is going to be investigated, and uh, so we will soon know. Obstruction of justice is really a very hard crime to make out. It, it's not just you want the investigation to go away, you suggest that the investigation goes away. You've got to take really affirmative action. Uh, and D Director Comey said in his testimony that even though the expression was hope, he took it as a directive. But what we know is he didn't do anything about it, right? That is, he did not dismiss the investigation or curtail the investigation. There's an expression of, of, of hope. So it becomes an interpretation. Mm. Uh, and th th I think it's just a very hard case to make out. And, you know, that's a good thing for all of us. Crimes should be difficult to prove. Well, and there's a presumption... Go ahead. Well, Go ahead. I mean, I agree. I, I, sir, I wholeheartedly agree on that front. But just let's remind people what you're referring to, because this is what James Comey wrote in his prepared statement for the Senate Intel uh, Committee. So that just so everybody knows the language, I hope you can see your way clear to letting this go, to letting Flynn go. He is a good guy. I hope you can let this go. That's what James Comey says President Trump said to him about the investigation. Right. And as you say, he interpreted that as a directive. Listen to his testimony here. I took it as a direction. Right. I mean, this is the President of the United States with me alone saying, I hope this. I took it as this is what he wants me to do. Now, I didn't, I didn't obey that, but that's the way I took it. Okay, so, Mr. Starr, are you saying that he would have had to have obeyed it in order for that to be obstruction of justice? No, no we're going to the intent of what is it that the president had in mind. He was expressing his literal language was hope. And I think that redounds to the benefit of the president. He's saying, golly, I sure wish this would go away. It's in the way of my agenda. I need to run the country. And this is a terrible distraction. I hope you can see your way clear. That, to me, just the language is far removed from a directive. My point is, the director of the FBI then didn't act on that. He rather just continued uh, as before and reported, memorialized it. But he did not then say, OK, ladies and gentlemen of the FBI, we are getting rid of this investigation at the direction of the president. 